Hey friends, it's your pal Digital D again. This week, I hope you've had plenty of time to practice subtraction, or what we call minus, or that phrase we talked about with takeaway. Having something and subtracting it or taking it away, that's what we've been working on. Practicing that within the numbers five. So let's do a little bit more practice this week. In lesson 16, we look at trying to make sense of what it means to subtract or to take away. And it's kind of what we call the opposite of addition. Addition is when we put things together. Subtraction is when we kind of break them apart or take them away. So just like we did with addition, we want to subtract and practice subtracting within five. So let's look here at some of the things from this party. Now, I want to draw your attention first to these flags that are hanging up, these party decorations. We can see that there are purple and green little flags that have been hung up for the party. And we see that there's purple and green, purple and green, and then it looks like there used to be a purple flag right here. But now it's been ripped off. Once you look around this party, what do you notice about this party? Are we getting ready to have the party or has the party already happened? Yeah, it looks like the party already happened. We've already had some of the cake. Some of it has been eaten. Some of the drinks have been drunk. And they've kind of made a mess, right? So we wouldn't want the party to start off looking like that. But after the party's over, it can be messy, just like we're missing one of our flags up here. But we want to write a subtraction sentence to show what happened to the flags. So how many flags do you think there were at the beginning of the party before it got messy? Well, let's count and see how many flags were there before we started. There's one two, three, four, and then that one that's missing. So at the start of the party, there would have been five flags. So we're gonna start that as our number for our number sentence for subtraction. We started with five flags, but we know what happened. One of them was ripped apart. So it's no longer there, it is gone. That is subtraction. We had five and one has been ripped apart and is gone. So how many are left? We had five, one is missing. How many are left? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. And that would be our subtraction sentence. We started with five flags. One of them was ripped off, and now there are four flags left. Let's look at the cups. How many cups are there? That's right. There are four cups. But what happened to this cup right here? Looks like it was knocked over. So can we turn that into a subtraction sentence? If we had four cups, one of them got knocked over and was spilt, so we're going to take away how many? We're going to take away one. So how many cups are left? I want you to point and count in your head about how many cups are left. Looks like we have three cups left. So we started with four. One of them got knocked over and spilt, which means there were three cups left. What about our balloons? What happened to our balloons? Hmm, it looks like our red balloon lost its air or was popped. So there is another subtraction sentence we can write. How many balloons did we start with? 
Well, let's see, there was a purple or pink, a green, a red, blue, and a purple. So one, two, three, four, five. We had five balloons to start with, but we know one of them, something happened. Now I can put a little X over top of that one because something happened to that red balloon. So just like we did before, it is now gone and we are going to subtract that one balloon away. Well, we already looked at the flags over here. When we had five and took off one of the flags, how many did we have left? That's right, we had four flags left. We can do the same thing with balloons. It's the exact same numbers. If I have five balloons and I take away one balloon, that means there are four balloons left. Let's count together and make sure. One, two, three, four. We did not count the red balloon because it is gone. So five balloons minus one balloon means there are four balloons left. What about the pieces of cake? How many pieces of cake did it look like that they had put out for people to eat? Hmm. Well, I see two of them were already eaten right here. But we had how many first? How many did we start with? So there was probably a piece of cake right here and right here so let's count one two three four five it looks like they started off with five pieces of cake how many pieces have been eaten i want you to turn to your partner or someone next to you and show them on your fingers how many pieces of cake were eaten Great job, friends. It looks like two of them right here. These two plates, I want to put X's over them. Those pieces had been eaten. So there's not five pieces anymore. How many pieces are left after those two have been eaten? Well, we can count together. One, two, three. There are three pieces of cake left over. Great job, friends. Hmm, what else can we count? Let's see. Oh, I see some party hats right here. Uh, see how many party hats in all? There's one, two, three, four. So there were four party hats. If I'm going to subtract... What would I subtract? What number do you think we should subtract based on what we see in the picture? Hmm, it looks like these two hats were knocked over. So that's going to be what I subtract. So I had four. I'm subtracting two. So how many are left? Hmm. One, two, three, four is where we started. These two were knocked over. So how many are left? One and two. So four minus two equals two. Now there's some more things we can count in this picture, but I want to move on and look at it a couple of different ways. Here we have it in our five frame. Remember, it's a five frame because there are five boxes, and we have some of those boxes filled in. So let's look at the first one. How many boxes are filled in? How many do we have up there to begin with? How many chips are there or counters? Right now, I see one, two, and three. So we're starting with three counters. What would you do if I took away this one and this one? Now I'll put an X through them, all right? So how many counters are left? Just one. 
So let's finish our subtraction sentence. We had three. How many did I subtract or did I take away? That's right. I took away these two right here, which means that there's only one left. Let's do the next one. How many counters are we starting with? That's right, we have five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five counters. Now I'm not gonna use the X this time, but I'm gonna take some of these off of our 10 frame. I want you to count with me as I take them off of our five frame. We're gonna take off that one. We're gonna take off that one. How many counters did I take away? One, two. We took away two counters. So my subtraction problem, five minus two. How many counters are left? Good job. There are still three counters on my five frame. Looks like we have one more we need to do together. How many counters are on this five frame? I want you to hold up your fingers and show me. That's right. We start off with two counters. Now I want you to leave your two fingers up in the air in front of you. So hold up those two fingers, all right? Now, when I take away one of these counters, I want you to put one of your fingers down. So you had two fingers up in the air. We took away one counter. We moved it off. So what is my subtraction? How many did I take away? I took away one. Now, you took away one finger. How many fingers do you have left in front of you? Just one. How many counters did I have left on my five frame when I took this one off? That's right, just one. So our problem is two minus one or two take away one equals one. So let's do it again with your fingers. Hold up two fingers for me because that's where we started. We started with two counters, so I want you to hold up two fingers. And as I take one counter away, I want you to put one finger down. So we have one counter or one finger left over. Two minus one equals one. Wow, friends, subtraction can be a lot more difficult than addition but you all are doing awesome. Let's practice a little bit with our fingers before I go. So why don't you hold up your hand and show me five. What happens if I ask you to take away three fingers? So let's put down one, two, three. So we have five, how many do we have left? Let's count them, one, two so five take away three equals two we have two left over what about if we had three fingers so show me three fingers and i ask you to take away one of them so let's take away one how many fingers do we have left showing one two so three minus one equals two. Great job, guys. Keep up the hard work. We're gonna have plenty of time to practice subtraction, so I know you're gonna be great at it before you leave kindergarten. I'll see you again next week. And until then, keep counting.